Hi, Paul. Hey, Matt. Hey, Chris. There's Matt. Welcome to Building Up To It, episode 66, all the children's favorite episode. Six, six. It's the number one. It's the number one uh, Star Wars number, I think. Right? What? There's no. There's no <laughs> more of a Star Wars number. Is an order sixty-six? Is there any number that's more Star Wars than sixty-six? Uh, episode three. Um, <laughs> I watched the Last Jedi last night. Ooh, yeah. So eight. Oh boy, <laughs> that's the one. We know that. We, we already know the episode. episode. <laughs> no. I, you know, I won't ruin it by giving my opinion. We'll talk about it after. We know Chris loves the movies only, and, but we know he doesn't love this movie. It's the uh, the worst one. Okay. I, <clears throat> is it, do you think it's worse than one, two, three? Uh, it's worse than it. Can't be worse than two. It's worse than two and three. It's not. No. Uh, Wait. So you thought one was the best of the prequels? That's yes. that's interesting. Wow. By far. Wow. Huh. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know if I said that backwards, but yes, I think one is the best of the prequels. Um, I couldn't tell you a thing I remember about two or three. That's how <clears throat> bad they were. Me, son named June June. <laughs> that's from I South mean, Park. The po- as if I may take a quote from. Uh, uh, the clerk's cartoon. The pod race was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna rant today, but a mini rant before we get into it is I had really good gin and it's gone, and now I'm stuck drinking my girlfriend's gin, which tastes like licorice for some fucking reason. You know whose fault that is? I'm gonna say Crosscut Distilleries. <laughs> I was gonna blame Nazis. I figured. Nah, they. We're not gonna go there tonight. Let's keep it. <laughs> Matt almost said they get a pass tonight, but then he. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope. Couldn't quite go there. All right. Welcome to building up. Uh, building it's up. The Lego the podcast. Lego podcast. Um, <laughs> stay tuned. Uh, there'll be two episodes dropping in a couple weeks. At some point, you'll just, I don't know when the, the one is going to drop. The other one's going to be Friday morning like normal. The other one's going to be out sometime that week. It's after the movie comes out. Uh, I think tomorrow night, Tuesday night, is the, the third of the sneak peeks. So, like, I know people in my lug that have seen the movie after Tuesday. They've seen it three times already. <gasps> it's like, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I will see it again in theaters, um, which I... Wouldn't have said for the Batman or the Ninjago movie. In fact, the Batman movie I've only seen once in theaters, and I bought the Blu-ray, and I haven't watched it. In Jago, I did watch the Blu-ray once. I've seen that one twice. Uh, anyway, this last week for me, I hit one million parts on my Bricklink store. There it is. There's Milestone. 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 Yeah, and then Bricklink was... did you the favor of reducing that down to 400000 Bricklink did me... The favor of uh, being asked backwards, but we'll get into that later or sooner. Uh, oh, what else? What else did I get? Uh, I got an absolute ton of shit traded in over the weekend. Like I'm talking seven, eight hundred dollars of the trade ins in like three days. Well done. It was uh, insane. I I uh, have one bulk bin that has some of the Grand Emporium and the Town Hall in it. Not that mm. I would ever imagine putting those back together out of like 40 pounds of bulk that's just <laughs> if, if you're the kind of that's person that masochism. would do that if you're the kind of person that would do that just turn off this show right now i don't even want to think about you no, um what you do you had them come in and work at work at the store so they can no, put no, it together it's, for you there's no amount of money that's worth whatever you're going to sell those two for when they're complete yeah, the the truth is is that you have to stop watching The Crow every Friday and listening to My Chemical Romance. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's who would look for those pieces. Hey, guys, I found the logo. There it Yay! is. It's back. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, <laughs> we don't have lower thirds. I didn't know what show this was. Oh, we didn't try yet, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, let me do this live. I wonder if... Uh, all right, let me size. choose my color. Let I want to like, know. Let me know in the comments. Did Matt's screen change size when he tries to do this? 
Or is it just on our end? Clicking. It yep. works. It, small. It's and now that, big again. Small, uh, big. Small, big. Uh, <laughs> All right. Didn't work. Um, Didn't work. What else? <clears throat> oh, uh, so what you do is you, you look in, you, you open up Brickstock when it works, and you part out that set or sets that you think you have in the bulk, and you price them, and you sort them by price, and then you know exactly what parts you want to pull out, and everything else is just whatever. So I figured out what the most expensive parts in the few big sets that I knew might in some proportion be in that bin, and I pulled out those real good parts, like all the dark green windows, and... Um, That's also the name of your TV movie. All the dark green windows. I was gonna say it sounds like a it's Christopher like Burn. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, other like dark orange arches and things like that. Anyway, I think that's it for me. I got a lot of Lego traded in. I got those five hundred Unikitties in the mail, 500. and I'm trying to work my way through those. <laughs> and uh, that's it. How about you, Paul? Um, I didn't have nearly as a. Uh, as a milestone a week uh, as you guys did. But uh, as I think most people have as of late, it was time for these to come out as they've been popping up in stores. Um, and so I started picking up a few of the Lego Movie 2 CMFs. And so I, I thought bought everyone I could at full price. <laughs> I thought they were the trading cards. I got, uh, I've got i got 12 of them at the moment. And, uh, and I look forward to getting the other eight. And, uh, and completing the series, as I always do. Yes, uh, I, I, I did pay full price, but I paid full Walmart price. So oh, I saved oh, a good you, four you, cents. Four you, cents you've, com you've completed every series. That would mean you have uh, Mr. Gold? <laughs> Except for Mr. Gold. <laughs> Don't have Mr. Gold, which is the one uh, empty spot, as we know. Twist the knife. Maybe I'll talk to Minifig FX and see if he'll make me one. <laughs> I mean, he, I just saw they're posting up. They're na doing custom printed tiles for all like the high-end rare architecture style sets like the inside tour sets and i'm sure they'd print a custom tile for the marina bay sands and you know you can uh that's that's an interesting ko discussion right there would you be satisfied with a, a fake aftermarket printed uh plaque tile for an uh, reasonably unobtainable architecture set well if we want to just, if, if I can, I can answer my, how, my thoughts on it now is if you're going to buy all the pieces, like let's say you're going to brick link all the pieces, or even if you go through um, the official Lego uh, retail to pick up those bricks from the pick a brick wall or Lego, oh, good luck whatever, but, and, and you get everything but the, but the tile, what's the point in getting a, a KO tile? Because it's not like you you have the the actual set anyway. So if you're going to be piecing it together, then it makes no difference if you have that tile. Um, and if if you're doing it to like show off to others that I got this exclusive set, you didn't. So it doesn't make a difference. You're a liar and a phony. <laughs> Take it till you make it, bro. It's a big fat phony. You're He's a phony. big phony. So yeah, that that's it for me. Um, though I did actually like I, I did reach out to to uh, Minifig FX again, because he did post some additional units. They're going to keep milking you like that, man. They'll be like, oh, we printed some more. Paul, you want them? <laughs> oh, oh, wait, we found some more. Paul, you want them? We <laughs> also printed this tile that says, I'm Paul Chu. <laughs> It'll be like the, uh, that'll be my version of the, uh, of the Citizen Brick like metal. I'll get, uh, I'll get a, a minifig FX printed tile that says I'm Paul Chu. That's that, that's my well, badge. When I part out a million Unikitties, you can uh, you can buy all the necessary parts to complete because you just got faces. You can yep. buy the entire rest of the bodies from my well, store. I I probably plan on doing that at, to, anyway, to be honest. But what speaking of Unikitty, what is interesting? So the the uh, Lego Movie Two CMF Unikitty is it the old style. Is the old style, which is <laughs> what the fuck is that all about? Like, what is that? Like, why would they do that? I just found that interesting. And he was not, the, one, she was not one of the ones that was double bagged, even though they had a okay, series. I, I found was. the double bag ones kind of weird because, like, not all the, no, the Wizard of Oz was double bagged and the Fishman was. Who and else the, was? The girls, the, 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 uh, the girl band. 
the four girls who all have microphones. The they girl do. band doesn't appear in the movie. Not even in the credits. Uh, what? They're not even Don't in the credits. That's nuts. Spoiler alert. <laughs> They'll be in uh, Lego I Movie mean, Three Endgame. Take a take it for what you will. Like I, you know, I've only seen it once, and I, I couldn't rewind it and rewatch anything. So maybe I missed them. But they were, as far as I know, unimportant and <laughs> unappearing. So, okay, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> I was gonna say that that makes them like the. Well, actually, even worse than the like white suited, white outfitted uh, Lego Batman CMF series two ones that were there that were only there in like the the, the band at the end kind of a thing. Well, that's <laughs> still like a momentous thing. Like these ones didn't appear. The Wizard of Oz was in one scene, and there wasn't any lines. It was just like, yep, there oh, they are. Oh wait, so you mean Dimensions <laughs> isn't the reason? They were in. Uh, if the question is, why are they in the CMF series? Are they in the movie? The answer is Hang yes, on. they're in the let movie. Me, let me ask this again. Why uh, are they in the CMF <laughs> series? Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, audio listeners. But uh, not the mo- <laughs> <laughs> movie. Someone, someone timestamp that on the, on the video so that we can I'll just keep on clicking that and go back to that spot every time. Nah. That was my or A1 difference. ventriloquist skills. <laughs> Matt, did you get anything? Uh, welcome to building up to it. I got a $10 off card. I got the following CMFs. The 12 I like. I picked up another two Benny Space Squads, and uh, I got a free poly bag. And I also grabbed a full set of 20 from the Lego Movie 2 for my buddy who runs the comic shop. There goes my video. When I shake <laughs> the camera too much, it automatically cuts off the video. Do you want to know Abe Lincoln's best line in the movie? Is it Abe Lincoln? <laughs> Abe Lincoln? Here? No, it is not. <laughs> uh, I figure it's got something to do with the, uh, the Gettysburg Address. Four score and something. Nope. Nope. I got nothing then. Does he hunt vampires? Does no. he abolish anything? Does no. <laughs> Come on. These are these are all solid guesses. Missed He's opportunity. The, at at one point he goes, Oh, I had theater tickets tonight. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I enjoy that. Hopefully the kids the, the right kids will will understand that joke. That's probably yeah, on me. Earth too. Right. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Earth two? <laughs> I've been watching The Flash, I'm sorry. Why? It's actually, it's actually not that bad. Honestly. The early seasons, I say the first three seasons of The Flash are actually pretty good. Don't trust I'm on Paul. Two. He loves everything. No, I'm on two, and it's like not that bad. I mean, it's fucking cheesy, but like, you know what? I want to see Flash. him fight the Gorilla is, Grodd. Where else yeah. am I going to see that? And fucking King Shark? Like, that show is The Flash is cheesy. Of all of them, he's the cheesiest one. Um, sure. So, so it, it's, it's, in, it's in character. Uh, but do you have a follow up on your uh, your second two Benny Space Squad sets? Did you also? Oh, I mean, I ten at ten. Okay, so 10 I I learned that I actually had a ten dollar coupon on my account before. Ah, uh-huh. so that nobody fucked up. I had a t- other people <laughs> got it. Uh, their perks members had had a ten dollar uh, account. But I, I st- your tracks now. They fucked up. <laughs> but I did get ten dollars off in March, so that's good. Um, no, but I like Mastermind Toys; they're uh, doing pretty good. I'd like to shout uh, did out. Did I uh, mention that I got Axel's Rolling Arsenal? Yeah, recently and the two pack. Oh, did you? I like How to many? shout out um, Haley Bricks because she's doing the uh, the Matt the Duplo bag that you have there, the the Duplo figure. You want to hold that up? She's doing yeah. every possible color variant of that two-block monster. Out of her, uh, on her own. Yeah, that's cool because I she's, think they're great. She's got some pictures online of like piecing them together, and she's just every color combination possible. They're pretty Hang fun. Hang on a second, though. Oh, that's just a round stud, yeah. Because okay, so that's a. I was like, is that new piece the stud top? But that's just a regular tile stud, right? Yeah. Tile. yeah. Yeah, there it is. It just looks so damn big here in the picture. I only have the one. 
I'll tell you the, the other I've thing. I've got two of those. Now. That the uh, you know the the Benny Squad appears very, ever so briefly in the movie too. I'd like to rank all of the sets from the first wave as far as most in the movie to least in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, like, I um, extra pieces were uh, great. The draft had two leafies. Oh, I thought you were say he had two heads. I was like, damn. No, no, two ah! leafies. The Tin Man came with uh, three bow ties, silver, and two that hearts. That might be an error. Nope. <laughs> both mine. I picked up two, both had it. Uh, the watermelon came with two slices of watermelon. And, uh, oh, Benny came with an extra hand, which I made a wrench. So he's holding a hand with his hand. We, we <laughs> haven't seen extra pieces aside from the Unikitty series since, like, series two. Uh, yeah, that's true. This one has, there's a number of Unikitty uh, extra pieces in this one again. And oh, then and Abe a- 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 Lincoln came with an extra stick. Hey, Love- Lincoln! Um, He's what's your favorite th- line from Robin Hood Men in Tights? <laughs> uh, it's, it's been too long. It's a Dave oh, Chappelle line, I'm sure. Uh, you know, mine is, oh, Robin, you've lost your arms in battle, but you grew some nice boobs. And he's like groping <laughs> the Statue of Venus. It's, it's fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that now. <laughs> All right. So we have some comments on, uh, on last week's oh, episode. Sure. Oh, uh, one at. more thing. Uh, this is for no oh, pantyhose. Who wants our stasis lock friends? Work smoothly. Lifetime peace. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Dalton, really. Just Dalton, really. <laughs> he won't watch this. All right. Uh, he told, but... he messaged me and said I should say it more. This Ooh. was, of course, months ago. <laughs> <laughs> this was when it was topical. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Hinkle draws. Uh, he comments every week, so I never know if I read this already. Wait, wait. But uh, let's hear it. New hashtags. Uh, two handles. Spooky house. Glob those globs. Visor gate. Gang gang. <laughs> Think big, just like Doug says. I swear, I thought of Doug singing this at the exact moment you said it, Chris. Perfect. Interesting discussion. Good luck with your new store, Spiros. No hashtag. Hey, good gang, luck gang, with gang. your new store, Chris. Oh, gang, gang, <laughs> gang, gang was on there. No, no, gang, gang, gang. The, the gang, gang, gang. 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 No, the, the triple time. wasn't on there. Uh, Tom T. Uh, brainstorm with Elon Musk to develop a custom droid to pull orders and sort Lego all day, every day. Ten million parts by 2020. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Quick Moving note, forward, uh, 2020. Cu- custom droids. Last Jedi. Darth droid. Tight. <laughs> the Dark. black the black BB-8 basically BB-8. So like, oh, they call him BB-8 oh do they? <laughs> yeah. I call him Darth Droid or uh, you know well, now, you call, now, now you call him BB-8 That's I the, ain't gonna do it BB-9E alright uh, Scott <laughs> and, and again we asked everybody like how they found out about this so that and was a common replied. no no that was a common thing we got um Scott H510, great show, guys. I thought about starting a Brickling store years ago, but realized that I don't have the patience or space to house a Brickling store. I do buy multiple sets when they are on sale and flip them. As far as how I, as far as how I found, well, I guess yeah, he probably does swoop because if you if it's on sale and you're going to buy multiples, why wouldn't you buy all of them that are there, right? Why would you limit yourself to only two extras? I'm going to sell these only two, though. I mean, always go for the two pack when you can. <laughs> yeah, it's easier. You, you don't have to grab it once. As far as how I found this podcast, we must travel oh, back shit. in time to a channel called Your Creative Friends. That is my first introdu- introduction to Clutch. I have followed the stuff you have oh, created wait, since then. Paul, the fucking eye rotates? Yep. Come well, on. It, w- it would because it's center mounted, right? Would it? I haven't built it yet. I don't look at this shit. Is Paul just over there rotating the eye while I'm trying to read? Yep. Obviously. He's, nobody's he's listening. listening to you. We're all watching Paul. Oh, yeah. It rotates in the back? Yeah, man. Oh, it's geared. That's cool. I figured it was just like on a stud. It's not I'm not sure this... Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. That would rotate. I'm not sure this has the gear. Oh, maybe. 
I'm not sure this poly bag has the eye rotation. I can't tell if I like the system built Duplo monsters or the actual Duplo built Duplo monsters better. I, system's I, brilliant. I like the 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 idea behind it. I, the the fact that like they make you build a Duplo out of a system bricks. I like the idea. I think it's, I think it's funny. All right. Uh, let's see. I followed the stuff you created since then. The first time I saw this podcast was when you had Andrew Lee on the show. I love his show, Bricks and Beer, for obvious reasons. I continue to watch this show in support of my fellow Canadian, Matt. Keep up the great work, guys. You know what that obvious reason is? Asian um, fetish. <laughs> <laughs> I, when I first read it, I was like, but what is the obvious reason? Like, I guess it's not obvious because, you know, you didn't say it. Asian German. fetish. It's because it's the, it's the Germans, that's why. The Germans. Thanks for supporting <laughs> Karnardar. The, the Germans. <laughs> <laughs> did he ever say that on this show or was that just from his show we've mentioned sure. at least i have alluded to it on on one of his one of his uh appearances. he needs to do more bricks and beer what is he up to we don't know he i got this one. uh special cup from etch glass customs <laughs> slap glass <laughs> slap it uh, uh blockhead uk wondering what you think of the five new mars mission space sets just announced at Nur nuremberg toy fair over the week nuremberg. um did Slow they there, buddy. Did, did, did they uh officially brand it with mars mission or is that just uh the applicable there's adjective mars, there's a mars rover I'll have to. They haven't shown pictures of the sets yet. Work smoothly, lifetime peace. But they have posted the set numbers and names. Daddy's got to eat. Will, I will do some light research. You can't melt burnt cheese. <laughs> that is very light research. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Um, we can talk about that. I I'd like to talk about that when pictures come out, because right now it's just like, what are they? No. I don't know. Ooh, We're going to talk sorry, about man. it now, because I promised. Is the light research complete? No. Well, We're going to talk about it in the show. Just keep so that, All right. We've got one more episode. Is, one is one more comment. Speculation going. One more comment. Uh, Peculiar 23. I have a Bricklink store, Peculiar Pieces, and I found Chris's videos a year or two Shameless. back, searching for brick stock tutorials. Your videos helped me out a lot in changing the way I manage my store. About a month Aww. ago, I needed to look something up from one of your old videos and saw that you guys started a podcast. I'm always looking for podcasts to listen to while parting out sets or sorting bricks, and this one works perfectly for that type of work, except when you guys start pulling up cool pics and distract me from my task. Oh, <laughs> he watches the video when he has to. Thanks for watching, bud. We appreciate and, uh, it. That's all the comments. Excuse, I, I figured we'd get reason. more about like, who are you? Where are you coming from? Well, nope. to be fair, it's only been a couple days since. Well, uh, I'll ask a completely yeah, new question aired. for this week. How didn't you hear about us? <laughs> Okay. Sounds good. good. <laughs> It'll be a great one. You guys got to jump on that dead air. I mean, I can't do the, everything around I was here. almost going to burp, so I, I was excusing myself from um, talking. Oh, there it is. Lego reveals Nuremberg toy. Let's do this as our first topic. Yeah. We we have the names of several sets. Um. Where the fuck is Trafalgar Square? Because, okay, legitimately? In England. It's in England. England? <laughs> super <of> classy. <laughs> England. Um, so, when you're driving past Toronto, you pass three exits on the highway, and they all sound wi like wizards from Dungeons & Dragons. One is Trafalgar. The <laughs> other is Dorval. And then there's Cothra. <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> I can't help but, but like say to myself, ah, Cothra, you old dog, what brings you here? <laughs> Trafalgar, <laughs> I see you. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I'll fuck off. Um, they're doing a bunch of it within the city line. Um, worth mentioning, 
uh, for 2019, we're getting an 18 minifigure series coming in May and a 16 minifigure series coming in September. I'm not even going to talk about that, that yet. Let's hope so, they're both original, completely original themes and they're not tied to any property. Oh, they're going to be Harry Potter series two and <laughs> and Simpsons three. No, they're not. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Somehow uh, out of left field, Batman series three. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll take... I'll take 18 C-list villains. They would be D-list at this point. <laughs> I don't know if they're I'll any take, more C's. I'll take fucking E-list. Give me codpiece. That's Marvel, but whatever. All right. So within the city line, we are receiving some new space sets. I won't say their numbers. I'll just say their names. One of which is Maintenance Mission Shuttle. It's a 10 shuttle. Euro, Yay. It's a 10 euro set. So obviously it's going to be like, 100 to 300 pieces we have rover test drive a 20 euro set obviously not going to be that exciting mars research shuttle that's where mars mission came from mars research shuttle another shuttle 30 euros but excitingly 50 euros so let's say i'm not going to do a proper conversion 80 us dollars maybe 70 79.99 moon base moon base mm. Here's moon the thing. Base. Mars is not a moon. Mars is not a moon. Mars has moons. It has, it has two moons, I believe. It has two moons. What, Titan? And Io. And no, Io. Io is for Jupiter. Oh, is it? My bad. <laughs> and Titan... Mars is, is moons. Also not. You go, Mars you go. is moons are... Oh, God. Why can't it be easy? Mars moons, Phobos and Deimos. Oh yeah, that's uh, the mythological ones. They're all mythological, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, uh, anything revolving space is either Greek or Roman. Yeah, except for uh, the the fourteenth planet in our solar system, which is named Carl. <laughs> um, and then the last space set is Space Research Rocket Control Center. Okay, so what I'm gathering from this is it's, it's 99 a, euros. It's a full on town, I shouldn't say town, full on no. city based space theme, not a space based space theme, a city we've, based space we've theme. We've received city space before. We've had like rocket refuel. Several times. Look at Launch shuttle. Command from 96 or 95. I'll never do that. I'll Look never at, do uh, that. <laughs> uh, what's the. The shuttle uh, expedition. No, the, there was so launch command was the mid '90s, and they had one in 2000 spaceport, spaceport in 2000. Think like Space that, shuttle. where it's like it's all city based. There's no aliens. There's no like no anything out of the ordinary. It's all very there rooted be, in reality. There will be spacesuits. There will be terminals. Fact. <laughs> Come at me. My question is: Moon Where's base? the conflict? Will we? Will we get? The conflict is that all the ships are out of fuel. So we'll have space <laughs> octone barrels for every set. I o think the Octane moon... rocket fuel. Yeah, exactly. So moon base and space research rocket control center are obviously the most exciting to think about right now. My question is, will we get this moon dune base plate back? That'd be cool. I would love for the moon base to have some like geodesic shapes going on i'm talking like, geodesic they... shapes i'm talking <laughs> translucent antennae Pfizer i'm talking gate. two <laughs> by four wedged computer interface prints i'm talking whatever they're called two by one with the l-shaped translucent flat with a terminal printed on it what do you call oh, that a modified wow. brick two by one modified Turn down, Matt. <laughs> Hit it up. What is it, Chris? They're panels. That's the oh, that's a little bit of a letdown. They're panels. Huh, They're okay. Panels. <laughs> All right. So, what do you guys think? Our listeners, our loyal listeners, what do you think this this new quote unquote Mars mission series is going to be like? I I am in the same boat as Chris here. Actually, I I don't think it's going to be anything near what we actually kind of want with the classic space stuff. But I think there will be a couple nods to classic space. Maybe an intern will be wearing a Benny's t-shirt or something like that or <laughs> something like that. Um, but I think that'll be the most that we get. 
because for cause sure shuttles are the, the shuttles are the the the, the next the next as next annoying thing past the helicopter they're not quite as annoying as a helicopter and not as prolific but there's a lot of shuttles that we can make the prediction here i'm gonna say there's gonna be a technician with a classic space shirt a classic space torso underneath a lab coat an unbuttoned sure. lab coat for sure. And uh, I will also mention that other announcements within this release is that there's more sets coming from the Lego Movie 2, three of which are named, three of which aren't, one of which is the Rexelsior, so we knew about it. Oh, Star yeah. Wars, obviously. Hit me, with, hit me with those names. I want to I I know. Wait, okay. So... Shimmer and Shine Sparkle Spa. So that's going to involve some Friends characters, obviously. Queen, whatever wait, I want to be. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. What, what was that again? Shimmer and Shimmer Shine. Shimmer and Shine. Sparkle Spa. Sparkle Spa. That's, that's a little kid's TV show. That's not, okay. um, that's not Lego Movie. It says Lego Movie 2. I don't know oh. what to say. Oh, did, did wow. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Those, those, I guess that was their name. Those names. are characters. I, I, I didn't know what their names were. That, that's like the Sparkly Vampires. That's Obviously. That and uh, they have a spa in the movie, but... That's just weird because that's like that's a property. They might like get yelled at for that because that's a that's a, a little girl TV show. I guess neither of you have heard of it. The next Google one is call. called Queen Whatever I Wanna Be. So not evil space. Is it like her own she, she, she has her own like musical number, and I Speaking guess do, do, do. spoilers are plenty. That's why I never uh, wanted to uh, tell you the name. There's a lot of musical numbers in the uh, in the movie. We discussed that. There's two new sets coming for Overwatch. One is a bike, and one is a set that probably includes Bastion. Wait, they already had a Bastion set. Yeah, well, that's what it says. Which, uh, which one is Bastion? It, it <laughs> seems like Ninjago's going into the Ice Age. And also the Everybody, desert. chill! The Ice Age <laughs> Fortress, Attack of the Ice Samurai, Fire Snake, Titan Mech, Desert Glider, Off-Road Bike. Uh, friends, they're rescuing animals, and there's a karaoke pool party. Uh, DC superheroes, Batman, Robin vs. Freeze, Batmobile, Joker Pursuit, The Riddler Heist, Batcave, Clayface Invasion, Batman vs. The Riddler, Joker Escape, all Batman. Um, I want to see Clay The Riddler do something that's not a heist. And I'd like to see just, someone just invade something jokes. other than Ask the Batcave. How is the Batcave so easy to get into? Joker took it. Penguin invades it. Now Clayface is in. Bane did too. In the Bane one the got stars. up in there too. All I'm right. Intrigued to see the new Clayface. I assume the design is different. I'm hoping that we get a Hulk sized. Like a Clayface. Face. Yeah. So were there yeah. actual products on display at the Nuremberg Toy Fair, or did they just have a, a big print of that list of names and prices? My light research confirms that they built them 10 times larger than the sets. It only takes 10 copies of the same set to build it 10 times larger. <laughs> That's what I've heard from many what cashier. You, what you got there, Paul? Is that a water bottle? Mm-hmm. Where'd you get that? It's Contigo. So Chris knows where I got it. Target. Yep, but this is actually a chip cliff. I call it, those wang hangers. This is the only <laughs> the only way that I can I can uh, hang with you guys with my wang hanger is uh is with a wang hanger. Wait, yeah, right. what, what's a wang hanger? A chip clip or a mustache? Or so, water bottle? Either I suppose it could go either way. I think we should save our ranting till the end. So the next topic we should move into is a little thing called a Brillic link. And we, you know, I kind of noticed that they have their AFL sets up there. So are we going to do a bit of a screen share with this? We're just going to try to describe I mean, oh, no, we, don't we, don't to. To. we don't need to. We don't need to. All right. So, so without further ado, uh, Bricklink, uh, I guess Matt's screen sharing. I think. Oh, you so. don't have to look. I'm just gonna click on you, just for something to click on. So, so I want to click on you. Click, click, click. Receive free shipping for all pre-orders. All right. So here's what Bricklink did. Uh, months ago, they announced the collaboration with Lego Proper to do their own basic version of Lego Ideas, where you can build stuff using their studio software, which is very good. You can build 
your own mocks and submit them. And then there was some kind of voting process or maybe just a judge's approval. And these are the finalists. They got chosen. And now you can pre-order them. Bricklink is getting all the pieces for any of the ones that reach full sellout pre-orders. So if it doesn't reach the uh, the goal, they just don't do it. They're going to buy the parts from Lego proper, not Direct. through Bricklink, the fucking Seems parts weird. source that they own. <laughs> They're going to buy the parts from Lego proper, get them shipped to them, package everything up, and then ship it out to anyone who pre-ordered them. And uh, I don't know if they're making more beyond the pre-orders or not. So I think uh, it's real stupid to to try to... Like, they had the mock shop, right? Where you could design something using their software. You could yeah. put it up. You could have, it, would have, it would have an inventory and, um, I guess, instructions, I guess. And then if you wanted to buy it, it would just point you towards any stores that currently had all the pieces you needed in order to uh, to build it. And the orders would be placed, the parts would come to you, and then you have that quote-unquote set or mock. Now, I don't know if the mock shop is still going. I guess this... It is. You have 70 days left. A few have been fully funded, technically. Now, this isn't the mock shop, though. This is the uh, the crowd... Crowdfund project. Yeah. I thought... Uh, that's, I Go all the way to the bottom of the screen. Uh, all the way. And then the links at the bottom. The links at the bottom. I don't know if Mock Shop still exists. Either oh, way. Yeah, I'm not talking about that, though. We're not either either way, um, this is here now. You can pre order this nonsense, and they will buy it and then sell it to you. I don't even know what the markup is like. Okay, no so we're looking at a set 150 US dollars. This is the top funded one. It's got 1500 pieces. So it's not too far off from like reality. It's not like a brilliant set. It's not a modular. It's actually quite kind of almost old. It feels almost old school, even though it has more stuff inside than, than you would expect. You know, obviously, it has that architectural touch of the early module modulars but it's got the dollhouse back so it doesn't sort of layer off there's some other ones which aren't incredibly exciting there's a small castle two hundred dollars uh this has got 272 backers already and it's two thousand pieces okay they're basically doing it's 10 cents apart yeah 10 cents apart so at least that part is smart enough on their end. I assume they're getting some sort of a, a discount bulk rate on the pieces. Also, but, um, also back is a carnival stand, a old fire truck, a science tower. They they may have uh, gotten in with Lego to get some sort of lug bulk style ordering system where that's why they're doing all this crowdfunding is because they can only place one order at one point and they, uh, they got to make sure they, they order everything they need. For the sets. Now, I yeah. don't know how to find sets beyond the ones that are on this top screen. That's, that's all of them. That's Those are the finalists from the uh, from the thing they did. Those are the only ones you can buy. One's a micro build, the Isle of Peril. Um, I mean, none of these are that dope, honestly. No, none of them are, are, that, are, are that great. But I do find like the ones that have like immediately kind of sold out or gotten funded, I guess is probably a better way of saying it. Um, are interesting and I guess depending on how closely they, they are gonna be working with Lego, I wonder if there's gonna be anything like check this out. The the, the castle was was hugely successful and immediately hit hundred percent after three hours, and now we're at what is it, three hundred and twenty one percent funded and we still have another seventy days to go. Like I wonder if that is at all gonna be factoring into like, oh, Clearly, the castle line does have some legs to it still, or Wild West has some legs to it. Like, I wonder if that's going to have any sort of uh, trickle down effect there. I just okay. don't want this to become the place you go when you don't get selected on Lego Ideas, and you're like, "Well, I guess I'll put it on here." I fully agree with you there. That's here, here's that's the thing: I, I mean, I look at these sets. None of them are really comparable to what goes through Lego Ideas. I mean, the castle and this saloon, kind of, but not really. 
and these this fire truck and the uh, old roadster kind of but like these sets they're getting backed and i don't really feel like they deserve it do they really deserve like mass distribution 324 well, people want this saloon and it's like who are these people well it's a lot different because like th they didn't need 10,000 votes for this kind of thing no so I, I don't think they're gonna be the cream of the crop because they it didn't have such a great barrier to entry that, that ideas had and you get and who are these afuls are they like bricklink fucking alumni are they cool sure, dudes uh, so where's where's andrew lisa where, where, where's his set <laughs> any of the any of the cool builders are like fuck this yeah, yeah i think where's i think a lot of builders were probably like oh i don't want to make it on bricklink i want to make it on lego ideas and i think they get like a percent of the sales just like ideas but basically this design and the instructions and all that are completely signed over to Bricklink at this point. I mean, I see the saloon. I think it looks fun. But there's not one set here that I see. And there's a wide variety to choose from. I see and I want. I go, fuck, I need this. You Imagine don't want a build steampunk it. mini chest. You're like, man, I wanted a mini, mini chest set. But I also want a steampunk. That's really what. Um, imagine it, build it. Here's a great one. You can imagine it, build it a girl, or you can imagine it, build it a boy. Um, it's like creative. This, I'll give it that. It's creative, but but I'm not dying to go get it. Yeah, I mean, these some of these look like sets that would show up in like a fucking 30 minute reality series where they're like you have four hours to build a mock <laughs> this is the it's like the food network like cooking competition it's forge and fire <laughs> fucking episodic all right so uh, i i understand the idea of uh, you can click off me i've walked away from my computer okay i can I, so <laughs> you sell them parts on bricklink right and somebody's only going to buy the parts they need and you're going to make x amount of dollars how do you make more money than that? Well, you have them buy more parts. And they'll, you'll, you, they sell more parts, make more dollars. How do you get them to buy more parts? You uh, collaborate those parts in some way where someone, a, a customer, sees no reason not to buy all of them in one shot. What's one of the ways to do that? Make it into a mock or a set. If, if you say, you got to buy all these parts to build this mock, then they're going to buy all those parts building that mock versus buying some parts for whatever they're working on or some parts for a portion of that mock. It's like it's like those Duplo monsters. It's like, oh, you could buy one, but what if I told you you could buy 10 different colors all at once? And someone's like, well, why would I build one when I can build all 10 of these Duplo monsters? So I get the idea of trick them into buying a whole set and you'll sell more parts in one shot you know more parts fewer customers bigger sales i get that but, but the when problem they, is is that they're buying it from lego and not. yeah the problem is they're they're not using their platform to make these sales <laughs> they're just buying hey, the that, parts from that, lego that's really where they failed if this was to be like a if bricklink was thinking big picture bricklink and not big picture let's jack off lego and rip off their idea they would have said let's do our own thing where we feed people within our property and we say how do we get people with these huge shops they spent all this time building like maybe it's like submit an idea where you have all the parts in your shop and we'll sell that mock that you built direct out of your shop. And then anybody else who has a shop with those pieces can opt into it. I don't know, something That's that... That's pretty much what the mock shop was. You submitted an idea, and then anyone who at any moment in time had all the pieces necessary would be able to offer that product. So if somebody bought out one of the parts, and that product was no longer available from this store. Uh, but you could go in and you could buy it wherever it was available and i i hope that's still going because that's a great way to make a larger sale like in, in increase the uh average sale price by making them buy a combination of parts rather than just a few parts 
It's, yeah. so, it's similar to how Lego sells uh, parts as sets. It's like, here's one thing you can build, but while you're at it, you're buying 300 parts and not 100 parts. Yeah, yeah. I just think BrickLink fucking sold themselves out, honestly. And I don't say that like, you know, you say like a music artist sold themselves out. They've built something where they have the ability to connect all a folds to all people selling bricks on earth and they decided to make a knockoff of lego ideas and then buy the parts from lego see that's the thing that, that's kind of my 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 issue with it i guess I, even playing devil's advocate i get it from a business standpoint where it's all it, it, maybe they had the, the, the pressure where they needed to do better and someone was demanding that they that they make more money and how do you do that you need to you need to kind of progress past just and just as in quotes um being able to sell the parts to those to any any part to those who need it even though they've done that very successfully and um and it's, it's going very well i get that you need to try to kind of expand things and the, that, that kind of evolution of, of the of their own brand makes sense from that standpoint but the the issue is that it really is this by by getting parts and sourcing parts directly from lego in order to fulfill these it really does show that you don't really have the confidence in your own product like you're 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 not you're not you're not buying your own you're not buying your own stash kind of a thing it's like you you don't you don't you you aren't you aren't supporting the thing that you are trying to get other people to support and it puts forth a very like the the, the wrong mindset with any of this it, it makes it basically you don't need to go through them. We got you here. We're we're getting we're, we're gonna get stuff straight from Lego. Don't don't worry about all the other. Don't don't worry about rooster blocks. Don't worry about bricks in the dollar. Like 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 what what's the the whole point of that is just completely, just garbage really. Like the the fact that you don't support your own brand, is just the it, it doesn't push the right mindset. Now and this was all pitched it. as uh, a collaboration with the Lego group as part of the 60th anniversary of the brick. Or yeah. um, So theoretically this could this all go it. away after, after this one and only round of here's the finalists pre-order pre them now and we'll send you the three and three quarter in sale barge later on. Uh, and, and, given, and given that this was a fucking celebration of 60 years and like it's a one and done like what they're showing isn't sufficient like if i looked at these sets and i i would not go like oh man they must be celebrating 60 years of anything it's just like <laughs> they found 12 shit designs yeah they they <laughs> said uh, you can go selling bricks you can pre-order them now. The ones that reach a certain level of pre-orders will actually get made. The other ones, I guess they won't. Uh, nothing's billed until uh, they start putting the kits together. Now they say they order, pre -order, and then sh if you pre-order free shipping, that means they'll probably sell these sets that get back beyond to a degree. But I doubt these are going to these are going to come in a brown shipping box with instructions oh, yeah, yeah i'm not sure they're gonna have fancy packaging uh but or even they, uh, they are shipping in may is what they said in may they'll be shipping all these out uh, well which, which puts it right about a year past the beginning of the celebration of the <laughs> year i mean you know they put it together it is what it is i wish there was one set i cared enough about to buy just to see how it all came Cause out because the, the pricing seems fine yeah i can get behind it but you know there's nothing i want so like i can't <laughs> even experience this big deal you know that they've accomplished so to say i'd you like to, i'd like to see um somebody i'd like to see somebody submit these ideas to the mock shop if it still exists after this whole run is done so people can still buy them and i'd and... like to see these on lego ideas 20 votes <laughs> <laughs> um so what i wanted i didn't really i don't care about this system this uh, a full designer program <gasps> my issue here is that bricklink since since the sale of the company to the um the to not so korean Brits. the korean uh app designer company uh years ago since that has happened i think the the timeline the uh. priorities list 
of what needs to be done to this website has been absolutely out of order. Which they is just, ironic they, for someone who shuffled did, it. Who yeah. who designs apps. Yeah. So which the, which is the, a constantly evolving like here's here's my fucking question. Why is there not a Bricklink app? It launches this month. Does it though? So Does I, it, Chris? I I did not know about it until tonight. <laughs> Apparently, they had a presentation <laughs> at Brickworld Chicago. So, Paul, you let us down. They had a, on, a, a presentation <laughs> that was uh, live on YouTube and at the convention. It's called Bricklink Express or Bricklink XP, which uh, looks to be their mobile version for ordering and all that because you know you got to get that fix i guess what could um, possibly go wrong it will feature certain shops it, i you know what does it mean by express what's express about it it's because it's mobile so there's certain functions that won't be there so like i guess okay none of the selling tools will probably be there it'll only be for buying maybe i don't know okay. i don't know there's a million billion forum posts you can read but only weirdos go on the forum yeah so, good yeah, don't go on that forum. It used to be a chat room, believe it or not. There used to be Ugh. a chat room on Bricklink until all the hacks, and then they took away the chat room. What was that? Um, Thank God I got order bricks. I got hacked, hacked a bunch of times years ago. You got hacked? The site got hacked a bunch of ah. times. Just like fucking TF Source. Just like TF Source. <laughs> Used to be able to stay logged in forever. I just I posted twelve thousand dollars worth of transformers for sale. Oh my god! By the way, that was Robots. my day. Robots. Robots. That's, that's spook not that's spooky house money right there. That's spooky house money. That's not half of my collection. That's just my masterpiece and third party. It excludes my Prime animated and G one. You is, um, is there any of your nemeses in there? And Nemesis Prime, I should also mention. <laughs> you take four Nemesis Prime exclusives, that's $12,000. No, it's not. I'm kidding. But that bullshit Maybe is custom bullshit. Ones. Um, well, what I, what I want to do here is I want to talk about um, BrickLink and BrickStock and the API and all that. So last Friday, for about an hour and a half, uh, middle of the day, which was fucking crazy like i know there has to be some point in which they do this maintenance or the updates and it has to be inconvenient for some uh time zone but usually from it's between 1 50 and 2 a.m eastern yeah which is pretty good pretty good, good time, time for that to, to pick. happen and once sure. a month they have a <sighs> 1 to 2 a.m eastern uh, like an hour one instead of a 10 minute one. Now, I don't frequent that many other websites, but like how many other websites have a daily and a monthly downtime? Like Facebook doesn't have a downtime. What the fuck is wrong with BrickLink? They need a downtime every single well, day. Well, I mean, <laughs> Facebook's a multi-billion dollar company and they have like servers in every country and they're huge and BrickLink is not Facebook. Yeah, but they I'm, have. I'm, I'm no authority on this, but I mean, if you were what to compare are they it to changing something, every I mean, single okay, night. so yeah, I would compare it even to like a big company like Bethesda, like games like Fallout 76 still has weekly maintenance where there's a shutdown of the server. So, I mean, it's a thing. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, no, it's legit. they had a downtime for about an hour and a half. I think it was to be an hour, but uh, it went long. Um, that was 1 to 1 30 p.m on friday and uh i had to do some analog stuff during that mm. downtime because i didn't even know this was coming because you know there's a banner at the top but who the fuck cares and usually it's in the middle of the night this is the first time i can remember it being in the middle of the day um maybe they got the wrong one o'clock <laughs> uh broken clock it's right twice a day um so th this comes back and I don't. The only thing I notice is that the front page is just spraying in your face with a, a, a full designer program stuff, and I'm like, who cares? Crowdfunding is open. I ain't giving you money, Rick Link. I already give you money every month. I'm not buying your shit, especially when it doesn't come from sellers. It comes from Lego. It's 
I don't know, whatever. Anyway, what I didn't realize is that they, during this update, which I guess was pretty severe, they uh, they severed some code that uh, uh, halted some of the operations of third-party software, uh, not intentionally, just something was changed, and because of that change, the software like uh, BrickStock and BrickSync might have been affected. I don't use it, so I don't know necessarily. BrickSync's the one you use when you want to uh, match your inventory on BrickLink to BrickOwl, which is a competing marketplace so that you can have a store in both spots and every time something sells on one, it gets deducted from the other and vice versa. That's a, that's a constantly running software people use to um, keep those things equal. But BrickStock, uh, some of the functionality was was cut. You could no longer download from BrickLink to BrickStock. So you couldn't download your store inventory and make tweaks and then re-upload it. And you couldn't download a, uh, a set inventory or anything like that. You also, uh, the the connection with the the catalog, the parts and the items catalog was cut. So the only images and pricing you still had access to were the ones that were already in your cookies from previous use in Brickstock. Anything that you hadn't been looking at and pricing in Brickstock in the last however many days um, was uh, there's no image and there was no price guide. There was just the um, the name and the part number. So which, that was pretty crippling. You could still upload. That was a thing. You could upload just fine from Brickstock to Bricklink, but you weren't able to price anything. So unless you wanted to go to Bricklink and look up the prices for every item, uh, you might as well have just used the add item feature on Bricklink, which is horrible. Um, if you've ever used Brickstock, you know you can't ever go back to using Bricklink to adding items to your store. It's just not on the same level. Uh, so I was pretty upset because I use Brickstock all day, every day. It is a necessity to what I do. And I, I didn't know how I was going to be able to maintain a store without that software. So every, all the sellers out there on the forum, they were all very vocal about this. They They all agreed this is a necessity. This is vital. We can't keep doing what we're doing without this. Um, and everyone's like, we need to contact the developer because BrickLink's not going to figure out what got changed and then change it back. Um, it's up to uh, Patrick Brands, the developer of the software, to fix the software based on what's changed on BrickLink so that they talk again. And um, luckily, in the end of the story, if I may jump ahead, a, a new uh, patch, a new version of the software was launched. Um, 1.12.13 came out, and I downloaded that right before the show, uh, and it works fine. There's no errors. It's doing everything it did as of a week ago. Well, that's fine. Good. But yeah. so, so you you lost you lost functionality for five ish days. Then um, Friday afternoon through. Uh, this the the new patch went up during the Super Bowl actually, so about two days, two days um which is fine because I I just I did all analog on Sunday, and on Saturday, I um I still have a number of items in files that I made prior to this, so they're all priced. Pricing was the issue. It wasn't necessarily because I could still upload. But I couldn't price. So if it's already priced, then I, it's good to go. So I uploaded um, some fulfilled by clutch items on Saturday. Is it? Uh, are we able to? Do we think the blame lies with Spiros and uh, and Rooster Blocks because he was supposed to be going live on Friday? Is it his fault that this happened? It might be. <laughs> so uh, it's interesting. There was another post on the forum by one of the sellers in Europe who's saying. I want to start a uh, crowdfunding thing to help the developer of Brickstock to, because uh, at that point they didn't know if the developer was even interested in like fixing this or they've kind of been like hands off because the it 
it changed hands, but then it went from brick store to brick stock, but nothing really changed. Um, some of the coding got changed, but it's basically like, yeah, I own this software. If you wanna, you if you wanna pay some money for it, you can, but otherwise it's free. And and uh, you know they they don't they're not adding any new functionality to it, so it's kind of in question whether the developer was gonna help at all during this this um, horrible horrible time. So they're like, we're starting a thing. We're gonna send them some money. We we'll try to help uh, help this along and and show them that we really appreciate the software and it's it's vital for all of our success on this site. And then Bricklink jumped into that thread and said. Don't do that. Don't. Why would you uh, pay a third-party software before asking us if we're uh, we're doing the same thing too? Fucking dick hole, Bricklink. Um. So they said, uh, don't don't spend money supporting this software when there's no guarantee that code won't be changed tomorrow, making it invalid again. We're not saying we're going to do that, but anything could change. And um, then they said, after the designer program and the launch of Bricklink XP, the next phase is um, seller tools. That's it. Period. End of sentence. That's it. Seller tools. Um, could be good. Could be useless. Could still be not as helpful as Brickstock. I don't know. Um, but... They tried to, to shut that shit down with people wanting to pay for this third-party software that has been going for years and years and is invaluable. Um, and then later on that night, the, the same person that posted the crowdfunding thing said, hey, I just talked to the developer and they just launched the new version and it's all working good. I didn't get to use it at all today until just now and I, I checked, I did a like a random query in that and it, um, it works fine. So I'm happy and I can get back to work tomorrow. I had my own government shut down. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think uh, that this was actually intentional? Like they planned on cutting the third party stuff cause they had their own coming or do you think, or, and then there was so much backlash that they said, Oh fuck, we better, we better, we better patch it and, and, and bring it no, back on. Or do you think was this a mistake? I don't think it was. I don't think it was either. I think they're just doing what they're doing, and and code was changed for some update, and it happened to be the same code that would affect this particular third party software. I don't think they were trying to be malicious with it. Um, it's I think Soho if, if they were going to be malicious, they would. Uh, they would. They would take out BrickSync. Which allows sellers to also sell on Brick Owl, which is a, it's like Bricklink, but they advertise. <laughs> it's just the only difference. The user interface is more friendly, quote unquote. But if you know Bricklink's getting closer and closer to a, a website that looks like it's from this millennium, um, and Brick Owl is just Bricklink, but they have an advertising budget, so more people than the people who currently use it find out about it. So it's interesting. It sucks. I mean, because I, because I, I remember when you first kind of were talking about this, you were not happy, and understandably so. So this is this is something that's it's a huge thing that they did to to actually. If, if this wasn't fixed, I would seriously reconsider things. Yeah, you especially being that this is this is your livelihood solely. Yeah. I, I, I was I was like I didn't know if this was eventually going to come back or if it was like legitimately like just fucked from now on or what i didn't know what you were gonna do so that was fascinated to see what we're gonna talk about today oh, i had a very bad friday I'll tell yeah you that. <laughs> i can only imagine what you talked about just in the last episode like your average like you're two, having a great pizza, january like, all that kind of all these things and then second it clicks over to february <laughs> like this happened son of a bitch <laughs> so you had a great january great january and only january everything else fucked <laughs> So I'm glad I'm glad things have gotten better again or back to, to normal seemingly. Um, so how did it not affect your entire stock? The cookies. <laughs> it was all because the cookies. Oh yeah, yeah. It's um so you uh you can sync the Bricklink database anytime you want 
in Brickstock. In fact, I think you can have it set up to do that on a certain interval. But basically, that will download all the pictures and the prices and make sure that you have everything. So when a new set gets inventoried, um, Brickstock is not going to know about it unless you resync all the, the database. Uh, otherwise, it's like that set's not inventory yet because last time you resynced, that set didn't exist. Um, but it only, I think it only saves the images and the prices for parts that you use in Brickstock, parts that you've been looking at. So I went and I, um, when I had that Grand Emporium and the Town Hall and the camper van in that bulk lot, I parted out those sets in Brickstock and priced them and sorted them by price so I could see what the most expensive parts in that set were, the ones I would want to pull out of the bulk lot and leaving the rest. And about 30% of the set didn't have images, couldn't pull prices, and it was just all red, like, Xs. <laughs> and I'm like, this this is weird. Why, why can't I get the rest of these prices? And it's because I had interacted with the rest of those parts, but not all of them. And it was, uh, it was very disheartening to know that, because basically I, I list a lot of used parts and there's no set inventory for used parts. So when you part out a new set, you can part out that set and here's all the parts that make up that set. Uh, for used parts, you're entering all those parts in out of a list of all the parts that exist. So that's just not a thing you can do without Brickstock. You'd have to go to each part on Bricklink, click Add to Inventory, then choose the color and the quantity and add your drawer number, and then find out that you already have that part in your store, and then go, yeah, I want to merge these two merge for it. every part in every color. doesn't work when you have a – when you when you're a uh... – Million piece place like you. <laughs> I, I would love to hear how many stores over a certain size don't use brick stock because I just can't understand how they don't. But then again, I only recently started using adhesive shipping labels. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm late to the game of like, don't cut it and tape it, you idiot. Print it out. <laughs> Print it out on stickers. <laughs> do you, will I was, you, I will you hold it. let's say you make one sale and then like will you hold shipping it for a week until you get another sale so you can print them out on one eight and a half by eleven <laughs> sticker and cut it in half um no i used to i used to just throw away half my paper so what? it's only half the sheet uh, let me tell you I just gave you an idea for 2019 cost saving. That's no, right. I mean, I, I, already use, I, already use, I already use the label paper now. It's two adhesive sheets on an eight and a half by 11. And I'm either printing two at once or I print one, turn it around. Peel it off. And, yeah, because my printer will, it won't bunch up or anything like that. So I can peel it off, put the half a sheet back in and print the other one. The only reason I made this switch is because my old printer died. And I was like, all right, here's the excuse. New printer, new printer, new me. <laughs> I really like the watermelon guy's body. It's very like 90s. I feel like I'm going right over you guys' heads with this whole rant. You've well, just no, been staring at me for the last 45 minutes. Well, well, what's we we can't speak to it the way that you can. Obviously, we we can just we we know how you felt with it, and we sympathize with you at the time, but we didn't know the true impact of of all this stuff. So this is the kind of thing that, again, that I would never have known had we not been doing this show. So it is it is also pretty fascinating stuff to me. And I'm just glad that they fixed it, hot fixed it, instead of like ruining your life. Yeah, just, just I mean, just just imagine. I I didn't know where we were going to spiral out to if they didn't have some sort of a fix. So I'm very glad that they that just it imagine so. imagine that the subscriptions page on YouTube went away for two days. I'm trying yeah. to relate it to you guys in some way. <laughs> imagine that happened, and you're like, uh, I don't know who do I follow, and did they put out something new? No, what I don't it, know. It's, 
it's it's the like you lose access to your uh to your contacts on your cell phone for two days you don't know who the fuck is who's texting me or whatever like what imagine your girlfriend hid all the food in your house for two days that's what that's we were talking about that before you got on the show kind of she doesn't she she doesn't hide it (laughs) but she does amass it (laughs) Uh, but she does eat it all no chris does (laughs) i eat it because it's either gonna go bad i bet you hide all the salsa though you should see how many fucking salsa chips this motherfucker eats before an episode. He's sitting there like in his mic, my headset on. I, I'm like, okay, well, whatever. Okay, I'll come back. And do it. I was looking. I was looking earlier before the show, but there were no chips. Well, he eats salsa chips. That's the ASMR portion. It's gone now as well. I do not get off on it like some people do. I'm trying to think of something that I could relate this situation to to you guys. So it's the you well, like- all right. Well, it's a job thing, right? So think of think of something that is an uh, absolute necessity to you doing your job as well as you do your job, and say, yeah, that's not going to be here for two days, but you know, you still got to carry on. Just it, like man- be like a graphic designer, like having no computer. Yeah, or that's like you just lose you lose inter- you lose your Wi-Fi, you lose your internet connection for two days, and then and then like what what company doesn't have some sort of what corporate America kind of company does no longer? It's have? like a crayon without the little paper wrapper on the outside. How am I supposed to hold it? There's going to be crayon all I over my hand. I thought you were going to say, how am I supposed to know what color it is? I was <laughs> say, <laughs> that would have been better. Oh been well, really you know good. whatever. I'm just pulling shit on my ass here. Whatever. <laughs> Actually, there's a small hole in the top of the crayon. Can you put a flame in there? Or like uh, a, a, I'm trying a, a pin style oh, accessory. I have a I have a pin style accessory right here. Uh, no, so this is the city sort of light that doesn't fit in there. I may be able to put like a mini doll hair piece but i don't have any hand oh no you you just try to put the bar in there i'm talking about the pin the little yeah. little one like uh, you don't have, you don't like have any of those the flame i mean i've or flames or anything here i've got i've got a pot of flowers perfect <laughs> i think that's, that's the same is that this yeah that's the same as say like a what we wish the cat mohawk was Okay, yeah. Now, what's the coolest pin accessory you could put on top of the crayon? Uh, do you have Do you happen to have the uh, Red Harrington hat from Lone Ranger? Red Harrington. Did that have like a big feather? It was. It, she had huge hair, and then she had this little like fedora hat that was kind of off center, stuck to the to the hair. I'm going oh, do you in. have the crayon? I do have the crayon, yes. So I'm looking to see if I have anything that is also cool. So Oh, she had a, she had a fascinator hat, essentially. Very fascinating. <laughs> a, a fascinator is a small hat that clips into your hair. Her hers isn't really a fascinator. It's a fucking hat that sits Can on the top of her hair. Etymology. Etymelemele. I want to know why it's called the fascinator hat. All right. Uh, it's a uh, fascinate to pods is what it is. How you pronounce it. Are there any questions about the brick stock thing? It seems to be working now, but uh, it was, it was a scary couple of days, not knowing how I was going to put any additional parts in my store. There it is, by the way. Yes. So there's the flame. The term fascinator first surfaced in the fashion world in 17th century Europe. Back then, it referred to a lacy scarf women wrapped around their heads or fastened. Fastened, hence the name, fascinator. So it's not like originally it wasn't like I'm fucking fascinated, fascinator. It's like that object has been fastened to that woman. You know, just like a tie is named such because it used to tie. Rather than attracting stares from across the room, this version of the hat was meant to give women an allure of mystery. We learned something. How is that hat fastened to her head? Hashtag hashtag octopodes. I'm going to go with hashtag fascinator. Whatever. Um, 
Fascinator. You learn something every episode. It's Welcome the new Depeche Earth. Mode album. Fascinator. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Paul. What what was the thing we were going to talk about? We before Matt jumped on, we said we'll we'll talk about that after. Um, um, oh, the, uh, the 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 CMF line. The, was it, was it CMF? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Yeah. So everyone is going out of their mind, rushing out, buying all of the Lego Movie Two CMFs, and I just don't understand why everyone is so gung-ho to go buy these full-price items. Is it that $4, even at full price, is much more acceptable than a $20 item at full price? Because uh, there's something called principles here. And just because it's inexpensive doesn't mean it's a good deal. Cheap, yeah. So um, I think they're too expensive. After we're not live, I'm going to tell you what happened when I bought them. <laughs> they were all free. Mastermind is going out of business. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I think it is just, it's just, I guess, the, the fervor of it. I don't think the price should have any, any bearing on it, like you said. It's, it's either full price or it's not. And certainly, if you're going to complete the wave, it's no longer just a four dollar thing that you're buying. Certainly, it's an eighty dollar thing that you're buying. There's nothing in this wave that makes them a dollar more than last wave. Other than this, that they just all gone up in price now. That's a very unless, good point, Paul. It's an eighty dollar purchase. Unless, yeah. unless white base plates cost more. Well, it's it's it basically is they. I think they have captured the. <laughs> they've they've captured the collector market, like the, this collector market. So, your your people who buy Marvel Legends by the by the wave and and all that kind of stuff. So they they collect. They've captured that portion of the collector where you want to get them all right away, so that you're so that you've got your whole set and you're done. It's not the it's, even though you can an, always buy them on sale, but it's an absolute rat race. Like like these things won't be around for four months. Yeah, yeah by buying it, we crazy. told them it's okay, and that's. I still, should... I still buy them. At, I'm, I'm still buying them now, but I, I'm not going crazy. I, I've I've been picking up three or four at a time, just because I haven't really. I don't have the time anymore to to devote to to, to finding all twenty in in one shot. So I'll. Are just you feeling them, them or just buying them random? No, I'm feeling them still. So that's why I don't have time to get. I felt I shot. felt the full row, and it was twenty for twenty, all unique. Uh, but the reason I felt them was because there was uh, already six missing from the box. So I wasn't confident that the box hadn't been thoroughly fucked with. So I wasn't taking that <laughs> risk. Yeah, that's, I was good. Gonna, that's, I, that's my I, mission right there is every time I see a fresh box, I'm going to dump it out and then just throw them all back in. So they're not. Yeah, no like, anymore. you know, I was in there for 32, um, you know, 12 doubles, of course, 12 for myself, 20 for my bud who was convinced he needs them all. Paul style. That's um, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ashamed. Chew, chew style. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. Hey, do you hate when your girlfriend looks at you like this <laughs> and then looks at you like this? Which is the same face. This is a joke. From oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the same face, but with a slightly lower eyebrow. <laughs> I just I want to know if if the well it's just four dollars is is enough of an argument to just run out there and go absolutely mad buying them all up like well, they're the gonna problem be gone is, tomorrow. The problem is they are an impulse buy. Let's remember these are a uh, recruitment tool. <laughs> well, it's no different than anything else that uh, any other Lego. So you you. You must have the same argument every time anyone buys anything at full price. Like it's 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 the same thing um, that with with any Lego piece, especially. But but with every Lego piece, anytime anyone goes crazy, why are people? No buying no no. Buying, buying at full price is fine, but buying day one at full price and like complaining about not being able to find them, I think, is a little <laughs> excessive. I yeah. I, I think certainly the, the complaining as if you weren't gonna get them in a week from now or whatever is, is pretty ridiculous, but like, it's, it's really no different than I've been trying to find all the overwatch sets and, and someone swooped all of the ones from my Walmart tonight and I can't get it until tomorrow. Try it's the next Walmart or the same Walmart tomorrow. 
Yeah, exactly. It's it is it's a it's a stupid first world argument and first world like complaint to have, certainly. But like, dude, they're 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 blind bags. They're they'll be out in a in a week. No, in a month they'll be everywhere and then cluttering the shelves. And you'll be you'll be mad that oh, I'm tired of seeing these everywhere. Just like the Unicaid. When's the ones. next wave coming Just, out? Like the Harry ones. They're, they're also sitting there. I'm sure your your targets still have. The, the 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 last series are still up there on uh, technically in technically this may be a short run though because they started the month after they normally start with this wave they're normally January first for the new series do we normally so this, have two or three waves of CMFs in a year now three okay so yeah this the, this corresponds to the other two that are coming that 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 Matt talked about that were announced at the Nuremberg uh, Toy Fair or whatever you mean eighteen and sixteen exactly. Yeah. So, uh, so in this case, like, it 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 should, in theory, to fill that that third of the year, that that first third of the year is already is, is covered by these. But it is indeed one month short. But I would imagine that there will be no shortage of these on the shelves or on the pegs uh, at all. Uh, I think they're going to be everywhere. So if you don't find them yet, if someone has messed up the the order of the uh the the rows are no longer clean rows and then you have to kind of dig around for them don't worry man you'll you'll be able to get them no there's no and no and point. with most people not having seen the movie yet like some of these figures are not even in the movie or maybe in the background in maybe part of the movie maybe so buying them all is is i think nothing more than a, i have to have all of them thing it's not like a these ones are important. <laughs> That's me. I have collector's OCD. <laughs> I, I don't think I saw the crayon. I mean, I know what scene it's probably in, but I don't. I did not see the crayon. Is it because there, you didn't have the paper and you didn't know what color he was? Maybe. There is a, a figure in a fox outfit. What if it was a red crayon in the movie, but the guy who designed the figure was colorblind? Yeah, if, if, if these are like the uh, like the uh, first edition like series. It's it's like it's, they got just j rough designs, but it wasn't the final design, so they kind of just guessed, and that's why some of these are in there, or like some of the sets that were that were there for the for the first wave of these weren't actually in the movie or whatever. Maybe it's like that. Could so uh, when you see the movie, there is a there is a person in a fox suit that might show up in a Ooh. future CMF series. It's kind of like the same animal costume, like or any of the other animal the, costumes. Maybe in the next sets. Yeah, like in the next wave or something like that. Perhaps. Yeah, but that's one where like it was pretty prominent in the one scene. Like it was not like it had any lines, but it was like in the front row of the crowd, and everyone's like, "I hope they make that fox." <laughs> I think it is kind of interesting that um, the Lego Friends, um, like the, the the mini doll, like the the, the bag, not 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 Queen whatever wannabe or whatever, but like the, the space girl, was not in this anywhere. Like no no iteration Ooh. of her. And I wonder if that's because they didn't want to like quote unquote leak who she is, or if that is. Well, just, I mean, that's that Friends she, style, and these are these you are take her helmet off in the one set that she's in. I guess that's true, but you, I, I would have, I would have assumed, and, and considering she's in all the promo material too, that there would have been at least one, um, maybe in a different outfit or maybe whatever, uh, a version of there, her. There, there is no different outfit. You know what they say about assuming, though, right? <laughs> assuming makes you awesome, <laughs> and everything you is. You can't awesome. spell awesome without assuming. Um, <laughs> so I'll tell you that Sweet Mayhem does not have another outfit. And also, um, the sets hit the shelves before the CMFs did. So we saw her before we even had a chance to buy these. Although I think the CMFs came out earlier in uh, in Europe. Like, they might have actually been January 1st over there. Who knows? Who knows? It's all about synergy here. It's a, it's a, it's a throwback to Jack Donaghy and 30 Rock last week. Uh, it's all about synergy. <laughs> that show's still on. Downward, no, it's not, but it's brilliant. Downward it's integration. Brilliant. We're gonna we're gonna work advertisements for our shows into our sketches through positive mentions, or something I call posmens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that show is phenomenal. It's amazing. I might go watch it. <laughs> I'm still working my way through the office. Mm. Oh, it's better than the office for sure. It's well, better than the office. The office is decent. 
Um, I absolutely I, cannot stand Michael Scott. I, I don't know if you're oh. supposed to like him. No, I no, no. See, like in the first like couple him. seasons, what they do really well is what the British office did amazingly even better, which is oh, make yeah. you feel Ribbit. horribly, horribly uncomfortable whenever he's leaning into something. Fair. Um, okay. It, yeah, it, it's it's almost, that. it, that's like the edge of the British Fair. office. It only went two series, 12 episodes, but it's brilliant because it fucking makes you cringe yeah. every this, second. Yeah, This one, Michael, you're, just, you're basically with Michael Scott, it's supposed to be funny what, with the stuff that he does with, uh, with Ricky Gervais's character, with uh, David Brent. It's painful. Really painful to watch him, but like the it was office, painful for me watching Michael Scott. No, no, the U.S. office. Man, it's even worse. The, the U.S. office did achieve that sometimes. Sometimes, Mike, like with uh, Steve Carell, I was like, okay, you're getting it now. Yeah, but, you know. but in in general, like, so if, if you don't like, if you're not crazy about the Steve Carell character, the show really like it loses itself once he leaves. So I think he leaves after season six or something like that. You I love mean, it. I, <laughs> All right, I'm I'm in season six right now because like somebody told me he leaves and I'm like, when? I'm in six of nine. When? No, they they it gets way worse without him. Like the the show flounders. Like it has no, it doesn't know what to do with itself. It's, anymore. it's not horrible, but I mean, it's, it's not the same. It's not good. That's probably why the majority of the show featured him, and then it didn't go that long. After but maybe left. you'll like it. I mean, it's still maybe I cheap. will. I don't know. I <laughs> Will Ferrell's character is awful, and then like like so many of the the other. Oh, he's not even in it that long, though, is he? No, but but he's bad, and then I didn't know he was in it at all. He's in it for like two episodes, maybe three. But um, but Kathy Bates's character is really bad, and then didn't know she was in it at all either. But but her assistant is funny, Gabe. <laughs> yeah, I like Gabe. I think. Gabe's all right, I'm great. getting I, there. I'm getting there. I fucking hate. BJ Novak, that guy needs to fuck off. We're well, supposed to hate him. That's 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 the thing. Also. Yeah, but not in a good, not like he's not brilliant in his cringe worthiness. He's just a piece of shit. Yeah, he's supposed to be that dick, which is the like thing. Mike. I like, like his character. <laughs> the boss in both offices. It's like you can barely watch it, but it at its fucking core, it's brilliant and it's like the best thing on earth. BJ Novak is just like the worst. Yeah, my issue with the later seasons of The Office is that they forgot, like, characters got so popular that they forgot what made the show, like, the premise of what makes the show. Yeah, popular. I don't get why fucking, what's his name there? The guy who always sings. Oh, Al Andy Capella. Dwyer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he's popular. Andy Dwyer, isn't that not fucking. Oh, no, you're right. It's, it's Andy Bernard. That's from, that's from Parks and Rec. <laughs> yeah, like, the, nar the Nard Dog at Helms. <laughs> Andy Bernard. Mm -hmm. But fucking like, nerd dog. I so didn't like episodes, it. So many episodes about Dwight. So many episodes about like it's it's it being about all the other characters because these characters got popular. It's like, but I mean, at a point they had to define themselves as their own thing. Yeah, but it's it's like how I met your mother when when Neil Patrick Harris's character got really popular, so they started focusing on him and not the actual show about the group of them. And same with Modern Family because. Uh, certain characters got really popular. They forgot the the whole thing is about how it's the whole. It's about all of the extended family making it funny. Or like when they made the Lego Batman movie. <laughs> Two I'll agree with you on Oh, how Brad am I going to write the description? Brought for it around. <laughs> <laughs> but legitly, like he was good in the Lego movie, and they're like, "Why wouldn't we make a movie just for him?" Oh, because it'd be bad. Uh, I'll tell cause... you, there's there's no reference to the Lego Batman movie in the Lego movie too. He's in it though. Is he in it though? He oh he's got a set. Yeah, set. yeah, yeah. Batman's in it, but there's like there's no mention of any of the events or the fact that it happened or anything like that. So I love four. I love S and M Fishman. <laughs> His safe word is halibut. <laughs> oh, and he's got a wallet chain because he's fucking nineties. Dude, this that, that's apocalypse work, man. It's changed everyone. Except for it's, him. It's it's wallet chained everybody. <laughs> Did you guys see the uh the Chevy Silverado commercials with Emmett and Wildstyle? Mm -mm. There's like uh, it's it's a big topic in the um building up to a guests chat. because uh, Gary desperately wants that truck and it does not exist and cannot exist. Um <laughs> it there's can never there's exist. like a full on like suite of uh GM is Chevy GM? Yes. Yeah, GM yeah. um 
vehicles with <laughs> Lego Movie tie-in, and uh, they there's fucking this, Michael like, Bay all... it? No, there's like this. <laughs> I want to say minifig scale proper, but like probably the size of like one of the big creator expert vehicles. Um, there's a big, fully metallic silver Chevy Silverado. Um, and it looks like it's all buildable with actual pieces. It's just none of those pieces exist in that color. So you uh, could do it digitally. And you use one of those uh, softwares like Studio. You could build this thing. Um, you, all you know what it looks like is the outside. But then again, if you're building digitally, it doesn't even have to have an inside. It'd just be the, <laughs> the shell. Um, but n- almost none of the pieces, if not none of the pieces... Uh, are available in that color. The shell is physically. the nickname my friends gave me after I got divorced. <laughs> <laughs> now all, the... all of our divorced viewers. Some in. of the jokes are sad. <laughs> all... I've never They're been really married. Terrible. I've never been married nor divorced. I just thought that. Ah, <laughs> uh, some to of the dog. jokes. Are, some of the jokes are sad. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll let Matt wallow some more, and um, Paul get can us take out us of out here. Of here. <laughs> didn't we? We said that last week. Then we said, "All right, Paul, get us out of here." <laughs> if seeing Matt like this makes you guys sad too, please donate to our Patreon. At uh, no, but thank you for watching and sticking with us with this uh, impossible to maybe describe in a pithy way uh, episode for for Chris here. Um, we hope you enjoyed the uh, the multitude of topics that we covered, and uh, we hope that you stick with us. Give us, again, a, a comment as to what you also would like us to cover, um, and also what you feel about all these different topics that we had. Are you and yourself? From whence you came. Are you yourself a, a BrickLink seller? Are you like Spiros, who all of a sudden, on his first day going live, suddenly couldn't upload any additional inventory? Who knows? Let us know how you felt about all that. Did you freak out as well? If not, if you just want to listen to this because you love nerd-related topics, check out other shows in the Cool Table Network. You can see all the other shows on the Cool Table Network at albumcollectors.com. You'll hear all about them by following the Cool Table on Facebook and also going into the Rumble Collectors Facebook group. But if you haven't heard of them, you can go and check out shows like Enter the Realm, Brick in the Mold, Figure Banging, Stasis Lock, Nerd Ridge Radio, Shattered Cats Uncut, Plastic Fanatics, Toy Detox, Beer and Vultures 40K, an episode of Beer and Vultures 30K that, that premiered on the Nerd Raid Radio channel. Uh, eight weeks, I guess. First Communications, definitely. Us building up to it. Verbally Challenged. And also check out Masterpiece Ship Piece Theater, which is not officially part of the Cool Table Network, but I'm sure it will be any day now. Uh, all these shows, while they are all part of a... Wait, they're, they're not all family-friendly. And some of them have sad jokes like this, but they are all still part of a friendly... 66 family. episodes, you still fucked that up. <laughs>